the No Fate channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I'm going to be going over the best budget weighted vest and plate carrier for 2022. Back in December 2019, which seems like a lifetime ago, I did a video on how to build a DIY plate carrier for under $50. Well, 2020 hit the vid and prices on home gym equipment went through the roof. So I thought today let's go over the best budget weighted vest for 2022 and show you how to make it for under $60 step by step. And then after we show you how to make it on the cheap, I'm going to talk about who a budget plate carrier is right for and who it's not right for. And then I want to discuss some alternatives with respect to how to kind of have your cake and eat it too. So how, how to have a great weighted vest or plate carrier, but not break the bank when doing so. Let me know in the comments below how you use weighted vests or how you plan to use your new DIY weighted vest when today's video is over. So just drop a comment down below. If this happens to be your first time to the channel, well, hey, welcome aboard. Give the video a like, hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, we just do home gym equipment reviews. And oftentimes we try to do budget reviews because many of you are rocking that tight budget, whether you're in college, you're in high school, hey, you just got bills to pay. We've all been there before and there's no harm in that. So let's go through what you're gonna need to build this bad boy on the cheap. Here is what you are going to need to make your own home weighted vest or play carrier for under $60. Number one, you are going to need a vest. This is not a typical vest. This is an airsoft vest on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. A lot of the vests on Amazon used to be really cheap and they all went up in prices. This is the, my, my favorite. It's still the cheapest, even though it did raise in price. $36. You can get this in green and black. Um, and this is one that I have used in the past and it definitely holds up at least to moderate use. The other big purchase is going to be the weights. And this is one of the things that really set off uh, my previous video because all the weights in 2020 went up to $2, if not $3 a pound, if you could even find them. The prices now have come down, thankfully, and I am reusing mine, but I did find on walmart.com, you can pick up 10 pound plates for about $11.50 a piece. So two 10 pound plates, would cost you $23. Now, if you wanted to make inserts so that you wanted to make a 10 pound vest rather than a 20 pound vest, you just need to get fives. And if you're really in between, hey, it doesn't really hurt if you have the money to make both the inserts for the, for the 10 pound vest and the 20 pound vest. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna go through with the 20 pound version. You're also going to need cardboard. Thankfully, it's free. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need an X-Acto knife or a carpenter's knife. You are going to need zip ties. If you don't, most people will have these lying around the house. If you don't, don't worry. You actually can use duct tape as usual to replace the zip ties and you're not going to notice much of a difference. And you don't really need this, but I'm going to show you why. So the first thing we are going to do is to make a form in order to pancake our 10 pound plates behind. In order to make this form, you need to know the space of your plate carrier. One of the reasons I really like this plate carrier, if you're on a tight, tight budget, is that it comes with its own form. This kind of comes as an insert, and I was able to make one. You can just measure it out and make it yourself. The bottom is going to be nine inches. The top portion here is five inches, and then the total length is 12 inches. And I'll put that on the screen so once you have one cut out, you can just be super cheap. You can be super lazy like I am and just cut around the previous cutout. For each cut, for each section, the front and the back, you're going to need two cutouts. So of course you're going to need four pieces total. Now, before you go on to the next section, you want to make sure that your cutout pieces are accurate. So you're going to take your 10 pound plate, sandwich in between this cutout, and then you're going to actually place them 
in your weighted vest just to make sure that they fit. You may need to shave them down just a bit. One hour later. This fits nice and snug just the way we want it to. Now it's time for the X-Acto knife. We are going to essentially cut out this hole between the pieces of cardboard in order to give us a section to use our duct tape or in my case, the zip ties. One hour later. You're now gonna take your zip ties and you are gonna simply secure the cardboard to your plates. Once you finish zip tying, you're gonna cut off the excess on the zip tie and then you're going to repeat the process. Obviously, you're gonna want one for the front, one for the back, and then to make yourself feel really good about your homemade plates, make sure you write rogue up here and tack tack on the bottom. That instantly increases the value of these homemade plates. And then you're gonna to wanna to load it into your plate carrier, remembering that a tight ship is a safe ship. These are gonna go in fairly snug and that's okay. That's gonna create less movement once you're actually using these bad boys to put yourself through a fun workout. Job's done. Once you have all of the pieces to this weighted vest, actually assembling it is a snap. However, who is this thing right for, right? Obviously, it's a budget vest. So if you are in school, high school, college, postdoc, whatever, and you are on a super strict budget, or you just got bills to pay like all of us, and you know and for a fact you just don't have a lot of money to spend, you can pick this thing up. You're not gonna get a plate carrier for less than the $60 that I showed you how to make this. The only way you could save money making this vest is if that if you got the plates used and there's a ton of used plates floating out there, keep in mind you don't need Olympic size plates. You could get away with those one inch hole standard size plates that you might even be able to find cheaper than the Olympic size plates. But the truth is this vest is a budget weighted vest. It's never gonna sit quite right. It's not going to feel nearly as comfortable as some of the other ones I'm going to show you in a moment. And if you tend to use weighted vests often, then frankly, you don't want to go budget. Really, when you go with the budget weighted vest, it's for someone who's on a super strict budget or someone who is only going to be using this weighted vest like once a year for Murph, or maybe they're going to pull it out every three or four months to do some type of workout with it and then put it back. Clearly this thing is budget. After over two years, this thing, and, and, and not as much use because I do have a number of weighted vests. The, a lot of the Velcro on here is, is coming apart in terms of the stitching. So listen, if it is budget you're after, this is it. You're not gonna find it less than this, but if it's something that you're gonna be using regularly, especially incorporating it into your workouts more than once a month, then you absolutely need to look at some of the alternatives. Let's get into it. Here's how you can have your cake and eat it too. If you do go with the DIY version and you use it regularly, you're gonna find yourself at least fairly sooner than you realize trying to get rid of that and picking up something that's a lot better for you with regards to performance, comfort, longevity, the whole nine yards. So here's how you can kind of find that happy sweet spot and that is to spend extra money on the vest itself. Obviously the plates, their plates, those you can go cheap on, and I'll show you some alternatives in a moment, but if you spend some good money on your vest, it's gonna hold up for quite a long time. If you start Googling vests, you're gonna find that the vests themselves start at $100 and just go up, up, up. Most of them look exactly the same because they're made in the same factory. Here's what I would do if I were you, and this is what I actually did. I would go to wolftactical.com, pick up the Swiss Army knife of plate carriers. This is $96 delivered anywhere in the US of A with my code NOFATE247. Now, what do you get with the Swiss Army knife? Well, you obviously get a nice wire that runs the whole length of this thing for extra support. You get molly webbing on the front and the back and the Velcro and the patch, wow. But the most important thing is you get the warranty, you get the padding, you get everything that goes with it. You can use this thing for your 10 pound weighted vest. You can use it for a 20 pound weighted vest. I have stacked up the plates in both the front and the back. I made a 40 pound weighted vest and it feels exactly like the 20 pound weighted vest, just a lot heavier. The comfort and where it sits on your shoulders is the same and you really can line it up to fit your personal body perfectly. Now, if you are a gun person, you want to go to the range with this bad boy, you absolutely can utilize the molly webbing, go to the range, do your thing. If you are a go ruck 
lunatic, like I know some of you are, you can put three plates in the front and in the back. They will fit and they'll hold up too because the stitching on here is like crazy durable. So if anything, if you're gonna spend any money, definitely go with a better improved vest and save the money on the plates. How do you save money on the plates? Well, number one is just to use the DIY version that we just made together. You can pop those in here and they'll do the trick just fine. The other thing you can do and probably the best way to save on weighted vest plates is when you buy your vest to actually buy the plates at the same time because they're shipping it to the same location. They offer a discount. And if you do want to get an actual plate to go in here, that's going to be the best and easiest way to save money is to buy the vest and the plates at the same time. The other alternative is that you can pick up change plates and you can just be lazy like I am and just shove them right in. So these are made in America, made in the US of A steel plates that you can, when you want to use your weighted vest, simply open this bad boy up. We're going to show you right here, right now, how quick it is. Take your weighted out dot US plates, pop them in. That's all it takes. And what's great about that is you can buy these plates made in the US of A, support a local company, but you can use these in your home gym on any Olympic size bar. And you just saw how quickly and easily you can put those in and take them out to do your Murph, to do your weighted pull-ups and air squats and lunges and all that good stuff. So weightedout.us, they do have tens, fives, they've got 45s and 25s, but obviously those aren't gonna fit in here, but the tens, the fives, and the, the two and a halfs do. The other thing that they sell specifically for plates is this made in the US of A plate. Now, obviously I have to say it's not a ballistic plate. It's not gonna stop any type of round. Don't try it out at home, but it does the same exact thing as these plates, but it's gonna fit and sit a little bit better. This is an 11 pound version. You just slide it in and now you've gotten a made in America plate to go with your plate carrier. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union where I give you my final breakdown to help you decide which is gonna be right for your personal lifestyle. Number one, if you're on a tight budget, no shame in that, I absolutely understand it. Definitely go with the DIY version. All of those links to the specific products that I showed you in the description of today's video. If you're looking to spend a bit more money to find that sweet spot because you know you're gonna be using your plate carrier and weighted vest a lot more than once a year, then definitely invest yourself in the actual vest itself because that's where all of the bennies are. Big fan of Wolf Tactical only because it is an absolute Swiss army knife and you're gonna get all the bells and whistles without the crazy expense of like a tack tack or any of the other crazy ones that are seem to be overpriced for delivering exactly the same thing. Also, if you are looking to save money in that sweet spot, stick with the, either the plates that we already made or if you wanna kinda of get some multifunctional stuff, go with weightedout.us for their plates or if you wanna really up your game or if you're looking to buy yourself something nice because hey, we all like to have something nice. Check out their specific plates. This is the 11 pound version. It says made in the US of A. Uh, this, the, the camera is not doing how beautiful this thing is. Overall, there's lots of ways to give yourself a great weighted vest without breaking the bank. Just gotta figure out what's right for you, for your home gym, and for your own personal use. For me, I love having a weighted vest. I do use it two to three times a week minimum, sometimes even more than that, depending on what I am specifically training for. Any questions about plate carriers, Wolf Tactical, weightedout.us, whatever it may be, just drop it in the comments below. I do want to know from you, how do you use your weighted vest? I know so many people are different. Some people, they, do, they use their weighted vest for Murph every day of the week. For me, Murph is once a year at best. And I'm always curious how you are using your weighted vest, so drop it in the comments below. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.